What the heck is YouTube doing? Oh, and if you're only here for the solution, just go to the chapter marked below. Okay, I'm making this quick video to explain why thumbnails are now so annoyingly large and more importantly, how to fix it. See, recently YouTube has been making UI changes. At first, they were rolled out to only a few. You would see a few videos per roll, size being just slightly bigger. I noticed that first a while back on this YouTube channel. However, my older channel was unaffected. Thumbnails being like this. But when I got back from my trip, getting back to my main PC, Weebcon video soonish, by the way, I saw this iPad kid shenaniganery. Why? The videos have been blown out of proportion. I can only see three videos and five shorts with normal zoom. Now, there is a chance this doesn't last very long, as they have been trying this and reverting for a while now, and it's important to note that this doesn't look as bad on, say, a laptop. But personally, I'm not gonna wait for it to be fixed. And there could be a way to make your YouTube experience better. On to the solution to this UI nightmare. Now, this is the solution I found that seems to be the easiest applicable for Firefox and Chrome. Look up the plugin control panel for YouTube, links in description, and go ahead and add it. I like to make sure my plugins are pinned. Go to YouTube and open the extension. Now, there are a ton of features, but mainly we're interested in the thumbnail size and minimum grid items per row. Changing these is basically the fix, refreshing to make sure it updates. One thing with this is shorts. It doesn't change the size of those thumbnails, but there is an option to hide shorts too. However, you should go through and uncheck everything else if those are the only things you want to change. Which brings me to my next step, the other features to consider. Now, for me, I love watching shorts on my phone. If I start watching on PC, I find myself getting too distracted. So honestly, and this is coming from someone who makes and encourages you to watch my storytime shorts, I do kind it convenient to hide the shorts for my PC. As for other features, here are my recommendations for control panel settings. Automatically pause channel trailers to prevent loud jump scare noises or random tabs playing. Hide shorts because I have a distraction issue and it looks better on my 4K monitor that way. And lastly, to hide hidden videos and channels because if I want something gone, why have it take up space? I also want to point out ones should be turned off specifically because I think it can nuke the YouTube experience. Make sure to turn the following off. Hide suggested sections, hiding watched videos, skipping ads, this one I'm not too sure on only because of the pushback YouTube has been doing for ad blockers. Then lastly, make sure to turn off hide and screen content and hide pause overlay. Okay, with that you should be all set. But I have some thoughts on the impact this might have for us content creators. By the way, if this video has helped you, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'll probably be doing more solutions if they keep doing silly things like this. But as a content creator, I think this change is really not good for a few reasons outside of, well, me not personally liking it. Reason 1. Discoverability With the thumbnails being this big, what used to be a better chance of being seen just got taken away for a ton of creators. More thumbnails on the initial look means the viewer not only has more choice, but also you, as the creator, has a better chance of being in the mix. Giving the user three options means if they aren't your biggest fan or you're not already being viral, chances are you won't be in that top three. Especially true for new potential viewers. Discoverability is my biggest point against this change. However, another point is shorts. It's no surprise that YouTube is pushing shorts, but blowing up the thumbnails and adding more than a full length video makes it crystal clear. Now, as someone who watches shorts on desktop, I'm gonna be honest, mostly from a single nice thumbnail and then I just get stuck doom scrolling, I can see why. If YouTube looks at watch time ratio to video time, add in the change of 3 minute shorts, watching a 1 minute short 2 times for a 200% watch time compared to 3 minutes of a 5 minute video, 
Yeah, one number looks better to them, which could be why they've been made so prominent. But that's just a theory. But tell me, what do you think about this change? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know that and any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!